Hello, France. How are you? The first compound semi-final saw France's Arc System take on Estonia. Uh, and we'll bring in your opponents uh, all the way a little further north in Europe from Estonia. Hello, Estonia. Are you ready? There they are. A sporting round of applause from the, our team in France. Let's take a look at the full roundup for these matches. Here's the lineup. As Chris said, Lola Grandjean will take on Lizelle Yatmar in the first individual match, followed by Adrian Gontier against Marita uh, Pass, Mary Marita Pass. And the third and final individual will see Nicola Gerard up against Robin Yatmar. Uh, that is Arc System versus Estonia. In the first match, Arc System's Lola Grandjean pursued a bold strategy of going for the 12 ring, which didn't pay off until the third end. Oh, and looks like she's clipped it this time. Third time of asking, Grandjean has hit the 12. So I think she was on 18 before that, so has actually, with that 12, got the usual maximum of 30. So will Yatma go for it? No, she won't. Straight into the middle of the target. So a 28 for Yatma. Uh, so a net gain of two points from Grand Jean to close the gap to just two points. Grandjean was still trailing with just one arrow left, so there was only one option. <laughs> In the second match, Arc System's approach did not change and they continued taking on the 12 ring at every opportunity, a move that was still not paying off by the second end. <laughs> It does mean that it's an eight uh, for Gontier this time. So a 28 uh, for a finish here in the second end. Uh, and no signal from pass. She's just going for the regular 10. And shooting a nine there. By the fourth end, Mary Marita Pass had stretched her lead and it was her consistency which made the difference as she eventually took the match. We retreated to a masterclass in the third match as Nicola Girard and Robin Yatma both hit 12s in each of the first three ends. Oh, really? Hey, he's hit it and you can hear the cheer in Dijon from his teammates. Oh, and he's hit it as well. First time of asking. And here, look at the cheer. Listen to that in Estonia. Yatmar has got the perfect score of 32 with this new 12 ring. Oh, these two can't miss the 12. Ah, oh, that's the best of the lot. And he's hit it as well. This is remarkable from these two. After all that, there was no surprise in the way that Girard began the fourth end. Yes, he can. Robin Yatma needed a 12 to tie the match with his final arrow. But he hits his fourth 12 in a row. And, uh, well, I'm going to say it, Chris. History's being made here. Here's how the results look after the individual matches. Wins for Lizelle Yatmar and Mary Marita Pass, as well as that draw between Nicolas Girard and Robin Yatmar, means Estonia have a 3-1 starting bonus over Arc System going into the team match. The first end of the Game 1 team match came alive on the last arrows. Nicola Girard going for his fifth consecutive 12, but this time in the team competition. 
Oh, he can't miss it. Uh, brilliant, brilliant performance. A 31 in the first end for Arc System. And Robin Yatma, what's your call? Uh, yeah, we see the hand going up and it is a 12 for him. And of course, he's on for a 32, the new perfect. Uh, he's missed it for the first time, gone left and low and into the seven. After that disappointment, Robin Yatma had a chance for some redemption in the second end. Hits it this time, the big cheer from his teammates, Liesel and Mary Marita. Over to you, Nicola. He's going for the 12 again as well. And let's not forget, he's not missed it. Ooh, close, but I think, as Chris has said before, the fat arrows may have given him that one. So here in Tallinn, pressure on for Liesel Yatma. So high and left into the nine for Arc System. Lola Grandjean ready to shoot already. They have been keen throughout this semi final. Well, perfect so far from Arc System in this third end. Yatma going for the 12 again. I'd say this time he needs to hit it. You've got to assume his opponent is going to go for it as well. And I think Yatma needs him to miss it. Dialed in. Oh, that's another close one. But the fat arrow is probably going to get him the 12 and a 31 for Team Estonia. And there we go. A call from Nicola Girard on for a second consecutive perfect, new perfect, 32. And then number three for Arc System. And he's hit it again. He can't miss that 12. And he's edging Arc System ever closer to the win here in this first semi final. So Lizal Yatma ready. There we have confirmation of the running score for this team match. 96 to Arc System here. Yatma on 93. A good start required here. And she gets just that. Lola Grandjean. I see that she's staring at the screen. She's actually looking to see when she's popped up on her screen at her end. Because that's her signal. Just drifting off to the right. But look at that grouping for her and that bottom left target. Very, very tight. Just a little over two centimetres, you have to say. Mary Marita Pass here, wanting to keep the pressure on for Estonia. They've clawed back one point. Is that the fat arrow giving Gontier the, uh, the 10 there? We had Sebastien Brasseur, the French uh, French coach and, and coach for this Arc System team, say parfait in the background. 
might just have been a word of encouragement. Really important arrow now from Robin Yatmar going for the 12. Yeah, words of encouragement, but uh, it's Yatmar who yet again is going for the 12. And he's hit it again. Three 12s for Yatmar in this team competition. They are on 125. Does Nicolas Girard go for it? He's going for the 12. Can he hit it again? This is a big call here because the 10 would be enough to draw the team's level. Oh, he's gone for the 12 and he's hit it. They needed to hit it. And they have kept a two point lead going into the third, into the fourth, I should say, right the way through it. And they have taken this semi final. They were behind going into the team competition, but it was their determination to stick with hitting the 12 ring that has brought them through. It was uh, incredible to watch uh, you and, and, and hats off uh, to, to all three of you for sticking with the tactic. But in particular, uh, Nicolas' performance around the 12. Uh, have you, has Nicolas been practicing a lot? Um, we are shooting outdoors actually, but um, yes, we try um, yesterday and today. And he's very good to shoot in the 12 ring. So that's cool. <laughs>